Good morning. It's Robbie from Southern California. Look, no sun yet. Mm. Well, I'm going to go get some stuff done. Will I be my spunky, funny self? Look at this thing I built. Now, I can go live or go film something when I want. Made myself a little stand. Let's walk over where I'm working. I need to find a flower pot. And I'll tell you how our week spent. So let's walk over here. I'm going to go work on the tomatoes. And I'll let you know I'm barely dressed. I mean, well, I'm dressed in my yard clothes. But let's see. And I can talk about tomatoes today. And try to have a calm day. Let's see if I can... Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to sit there and trim my tomatoes. What I like doing... Here is having the actual flower pot I'm going to plant in it, and then I don't have to move things around, but I'm going to trim this up, and I like this. I mean, I was going to plant a new one, but remember, anything that's yellow is not coming back, so you might as well get it off. It actually will make the plant look better. This plant looks like it got knocked around. I don't need this here right now. I'll put that here. I think I'll get some stuff planted. Oh, there's a pot. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to load a lot of it in here because there's already a pot in here. Okay. Let me just make sure it's got good. Oh, it's got good holes and everything. So I think I'll load everything in there and then blast it with water and plant something in there. So, why is it a lazy day and a quiet day and I'm not like all bubbly like I usually am? We were robbed. I call it robbed. It's too fresh. I'm not ready to kind of talk that much about it because I feel insecure. Even like now, I'm out here, just you and me, and I don't feel that. I, I don't want to use the word safe because I feel I am safe. The dogs are around. If they hear anything right now, they'll bark. They don't hear anybody, just me, so they don't care. But um, yeah, I was going to do a video. Um, the other day on my San Marzano tomatoes because there was like oh, a small plant in my chair garden had like 30 tomatoes and they were beautiful and that's you know it's it was just so beautiful I wanted to get them harvested show you how many there were because it's basically a determinant plant even though the plant keeps going and going it throws a whole bunch of tomatoes at one time and then it starts over which it did well they're, they were all eaten by an intruder. So, like I said, I'm very grateful for so much that went on because it could have been a lot worse than it was. Oh, without a doubt, it could have been worse. Let's talk about tomatoes right now. I don't even want to talk about that. Tomatoes, you have to remember, if you've, if you've got a lot of good growth coming on your plant and you want to try to save it, go ahead and try to save it. It's up to you. I know people have told me, oh, no, you can't. It's turning yellow. It's no good. I have trimmed plants back, and they've come back to produce so much that it could have been water conditions, weather conditions. Who knows what caused a lot of the yellow or the green leaves or the curly leaves. There's a lot of different things, and it's not always diseases. And maybe, just maybe, the plant had too much growth, too many tomatoes left on, and things should have been removed, and it just stressed out the plant. Like, here's a tomato. This one's got a hole in it. Even though it's green, it's not going to do anything, so it's still drawing from the plant. So if we can get a lot of stuff off, you know, that is one way of doing it. Let me, let me sit back here. I love my little red stool I bought. So that's kind of the main thing, is if you've got tomatoes and you like your plant, Give it a good trimming. I do not see any hornworms on here. See, here's another one that's got a hole, and I don't know if it was, maybe it got overwatered, or maybe something happened. Now, these tomatoes are ripe, but the vine is dead, so I might just put them in there and get rid of that vine. Yellow leaves draw from the plant just as much as the green ones. You would think, well, they're yellow. They're not using that much. No, they're still drawing from the plant. So if we can give this plant better leaves to, to do what it needs to do with, basically, it's going to do really good. I mean, this should have been taken out. 
It was last year's plant. I was going to take it out, and I thought, well, you know, it's really trying. See, now this branch has got a lot of yellow leaves. So what I'm going to do is trim off the yellow, and I'm going to look at this. And this is so beautiful and green, all the new growth. And it still has tomatoes here. So maybe the end isn't getting as much. Maybe I'll let it go and do this one leader here and just let it do that thing. Then I can always come back if I decide, no, I don't want to do it that way and take it off. Because let's put it this way. If you take it off, once it's off, it's off. I save a lot of tomato plants that way to last for a long time. And sometimes they may not look that good now. And then come spring when everything is just starting. The ones that were here already that I kind of struggled with to save. Oh, I think I see a hornworm. I don't know what kind of little worm that is. A little tiny, tiny worm. I don't know if I can show you on the camera. Let me see if I can show you on the camera. It's tiny. Now the birds have been probably taking off most of that stuff. Let me see if I can show you. It might be a hornworm. Right there. That's tiny. So the birds are probably removing it because I have seen a lot of bird poop around. But you know what? It's just going in there. So that's what I was saying. In the spring, it, it could be the first plant that starts producing for you and everything. So I try to save some of the older plants. But this is really gnarly. The trunk is gnarly and it's, it's old. But see, I'm, I'm going to just trim it back for now because I don't have another plant that I want to put here. I have a lot of tomato plants down the driveway, but I have other places I want to put it. So that's what I was saying is once you take it out, it's gone. And you can take it out at any time. I mean, this is absolutely packed with tomatoes. So I'm going to just go ahead and leave it for now and decide later what I'm going to do. So trim your tomato plants up because it's very important. And it's really, really good if you can get down inside and keep the inside clear because you get good airflow. And that actually will help the plant tremendously. So that's basically it for today on this. I just thought I would kind of say hello. Things are okay. I, I will talk about it a little bit on the garden tour because I'll walk over and show you what happened. But yes, uh, he, he did not come in our house. So that's one thing. We were very fortunate on that. He could have. And we thought at first, I, you know, every day I check my cameras and they alert me. And here's the thing, my camera alerted me and I didn't hear it. And he showed up and the first thing he did after doing who knows what else and he did a lot of stuff, he started eating up all the tomatoes, especially my San Marzano, he liked that. Gary found them in the yard before I checked the cameras. I was on the phone with somebody. And he comes back and he tells me we have a homeless guy in the yard. Isn't this terrible? I hear a noise now and have to look. Yesterday I was working and a coyote came down. And I didn't even mind the coyote. He's like good compared to what happened. So he comes in and he says we have a homeless guy and he doesn't belong here. But there's something really, really wrong with him. Yeah, I'll tell you the stuff he was telling Gary. So I said, well, what do you want me to do? And he said, well, call the police. I said, all right. So I said, is he dangerous? Does he look dangerous? And Gary said, no, he doesn't. But there's definitely something wrong with him. So he was talking about how, oh gosh, how he was being watched and he's got implants and there's one in his ear and one in his eye. He came up with a story. He told Gary he was like 78 years old. No, he was nowhere near 78 years old. I should be able to do the stuff he did when he was claiming to be 78. But... Um, Stupid me, and I will say that. I said to him, well, I'll call the police and go ahead and give him a bottle of water. So Gary said, okay. So Gary comes back here and gives him a bottle of water. I call the police and I go out to see what's going on and realize, uh-oh, this is not good. Gary kept talking to him and listened to his story, how he had his implants. And long story short, like I said, we're... Maybe we're lucky to be alive. I don't know. I never told my mom. The police did come. My neighbor even came over to help out, which was really nice. 
he was here right away in, in minutes, both of them actually, my neighbors came over. Turned out, and this is, this is an important lesson, I do have cameras all over. Now maybe that was part of his problem, maybe he saw the cameras or knew there was cameras and stuff, and that's why he thought he was being watched with the implants, I don't know. But Gary was very nice to him, gave him water. We sat him down in the shade. I even told him I came out here and said, oh, don't sit in the sun, sit in the shade. And he thanked me. And he went and sat in the shade. Oh, he said, okay. And um, I don't even know. I really don't like talking about it because this is why I'm out here right now. I'm out here to unwind and to just do my tomatoes. We found out he had warrants out for his arrest. I don't know anything more than that, you know, where, what, what his arrests were about. I don't even want to know. They asked if we wanted to press charges. And to be honest, no. I just, just want to forget the whole thing is what I want to do. There's no charges to press. He ate my tomatoes. We gave him water. We were nice to him. He was all scratched up. Even the police asked him, why are you all scratched up his legs and his arms? And after looking upon the camera, we saw he was, he was actually grabbing poles and trying to climb up and falling down. He was, he, he was trying to climb out of here. That was that. Oops. Let's see. Take that, too. I might take the whole thing. You know, I will take the whole thing. That will direct the plant back in. See how nice old this it's tomato leaves and stems. I can throw a handful of dirt in here and put it in a pot with holes and that will create new soil. But I'm gonna plant with that probably, some plants. So that was it. So that's been my day. So today I'm going, I figured I'm coming out early in the morning. I'm going to do this and tell you, trim your tomato plants. This tomato plant is now gonna be two years old. If you want a tomato plant to last, see this is in a, it's in a probably 33 gallon tote, but the soil is only up to here. So really it's equivalent to an 18 gallon tote. And it's doing really good. It needs to be strung up. I'm gonna go through and remove all the leaves it doesn't need, which will give it such a big burst to come back. I probably will give it a good dose of compost tea. I mean, it's loaded with tomatoes. So I have to take the tomatoes off. Maybe I'll wash all these. I was going to do my San Marzano's and I don't have those anymore. At first we thought he was homeless, but this isn't, this isn't homeless. This is a, a criminal that was basically on drugs. So like I said, it could have been dangerous, but like Gary said, he came out here and he figured if he stays calm and talks to him nicely and lets him talk about his story and he acts like he's interested, then he, it will keep everybody calm. So this way everything was nice and calm. Down there, he knocked over totes and smashed, he literally smashed totes. That was something else he did. So I've got totes I've got to go through. And we put some of the plants back and they actually perked back up, so we'll see. And uh, he smashed some plants. He did a lot of different things while, while he was here. And I'm gonna come back later and string it up. I just wanted to get everything brown off and then everything yellow off. Totally, because if it's spotted, if it's yellow, if it's curly, if it's whatever, it's not going to get better. It's not like a yellow leaf, you're gonna feed it, the leaves are gonna turn green. They will not turn green. Once they turn yellow, that is it. Once they spot out like that, some of them are spotted, they are not going to turn green again. What will turn green is the new growth. And just by trimming it back doesn't mean you're gonna have less of anything because it's quite the opposite. And we'll do a burst in anything that was starting to grow on it. You know, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this whole thing. Let it rebuild itself. Anything that was, you know, starting to come back will be beautiful. The new stuff will be beautiful. And if the new stuff doesn't look good, get the new stuff off too. All right, so I'm going to get this strung up because I think I want to put either, I might put my new plastic there because that plastic, the plastic irrigation tubing is doing fantastic. I'll try to get together something like my five or 10 favorite things because my favorite things, they change my life in the garden. They make life so easy. 
And I'll figure out how I'm going to stake this. Perfect. Love it. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.